Good morning. Human life is beautiful and precious, but sometimes unable to withstand the ups and downs in their life, people resort to committing suicide. Often we see news, farmers, students, housewives committing suicide. Indeed, suicides can be averted and prevented, provided that people have awareness and concern to the person committing suicide. With a view to prevent suicides, every year September 10th is observed as the Suicide Prevention Day. To explain various aspects of suicide, today we have with us Dr. Viraja Rao, a prominent psychologist and a faculty member of the Swanya University. Dr. Viraja Rao did her master's and PhD in the, in the Department of Psychology of Swanya University and she is also a practicing psychologist who is treating various patients with different psychological problems. A warm welcome to you ma'am. We have the privilege to have you in the studio of the Mass Communication and Journalism Department Osmania University. To start with, I would like to I would like you to give us a brief overview about what is suicide. Good morning, Anand Lakshmi, and thank you for this opportunity. And uh, today we are going to discuss suicide, which is a major cause of you know deaths these days, since uh, it is three major causes of death all over the world. And uh, September 10th is the World, you know, uh, Suicide Prevention Day. It becomes our responsibility uh, as well to discuss about uh, suicide. Since suicide uh, deaths have become more than, you know, homicide. Mm. That you must have, you know, already known about this. And uh, suicide is, uh, it's deliberately killing one's own self. Deliberately killing means you can understand the kind of, you know, depression and stress and, you know, a person undergoes because that is the last and, you know, such a, you know, a terrible, you know, stage a person, you know, gets into, right? And uh, another, you know, aspect here, CDC, if you have any idea about that, it's Center for Disease Control and, uh, you know, Prevention. Actually, this is a federation, you know, uh, developed by American, you know, this thing, U.S. And this rates the uh, suicidal, you know, uh, rates actually, it rates, you know, suicide, number of suicides, you know, being committed. And this comes up with a definition for suicide also. Suicide, you know, it causes death, right, uh, through injury, suffocation, and uh, harm. Uh, by uh, with an evidence that which could be implicit or explicit evidence by the person who is self inflicting to himself or herself to reach death that is the definition given by CDC right this is a world federation of course and uh, here you know there are different types of suicides again for example you know complete suicide a person you know killing or reaching death and you know uh, suicide attempts that means may or may not reach mm. death right and uh, suicide you know uh, it's called as ideation that is getting such thoughts mm. of committing suicide there is another thing you know suicide gestures or acts in fact suicide gestures and acts uh, you, you can't take them lightly because this is the first step to ask help, <clears throat> right? They're in a way asking. They're in a way, you know, like looking out, looking around to take help. So this is the first best step for us to understand that that particular person needs help, right? And another thing is, you know, parasuicides. That means they're attempting, but somehow, you know, they're not reaching for complete death mm. so this is also another you know important step so today we have joined here we are discussing about this topic means we should be working more for prevention right prevention is better than cure anytime right so you should always you know understand the problems of people around you should always you know help them with the treatment no doubt about it whatever you know whichever short term help that we can help at different you know developmental stages you know we come across different age groups different genders cultural differences you know there are so many you know like so all these things to be understood and at the same time by understanding the causes of this you know suicide 
we should be able to help them and also come up with a program for the prevention also since you know you come from journalism department here you are the basic bridge the medium to reach out to people so i really appreciate that you have come up with a program like this yeah uh, thank you ma'am as we're telling about the causes can you just uh, elaborate uh, on the causes of suicides yeah before that here i would like to you know talk about uh, around you know 33000 people from us they are committing suicide you know per day per day okay and uh, for every you know 3 seconds there is an attempt for suicide in india per day around you know like 324 to 500 and there is a kind of you know period where the people uh, where people you know uh, attempt suicide because it's so contagious right it's so contagious because i think you know you must have come across this you know during udyama period and all that you know people were getting contagious you know from each other especially same age group mm. right so they get influenced so wildly that you know they end up attempting suicide even complete suicide also takes place during that time and sometimes you know mass kind of you know more than one or two you know so uh, this again you know could be through you know physical attempts and then you know chemical you know. so since you are asking about the factors yes we must be very much aware of the factors factors could be you know biological factors genetic factors psychological social cultural environmental that means you know situational factors so all these are the factors that we need to understand today biological factors could be sometimes in a physical ailment mm. right which could be you know from the very uh, from the very birth itself right or sometimes you know sudden ailments like you know la loss of limb you know such kind mm. of you know ailments here i'm talking about and sometimes uh, I'll give you a very simple, you know, psychological, you know, this thing, you know, social isolation. Any yeah. age group, especially, you know, youngsters, right? Uh, even adolescents, you know, young adults, your group. And even adults at any age group. We are social animals, dear, and we want to really relate to, you know, people. Mm. If they are isolated due to any reason, even among a big group also, you can remain isolated for some reasons, right? Because you don't find, you know, your identity, you are under identity crisis, say. So this leads to, again, you know, isolation, right? This isolation, again, you know, it affects your very neurotransmitters here. That means from one neurotransmitter to another neurotransmitter, there is a synopsis where, you know, chemical messages will be, you know, just flowing. So this kind of isolation, because it leads to a kind of depression, the very chemical messages are getting affected here and your dopamine and serotonin levels, you know, comes down and that leads to depression, frustration, stress and what not it gets into and people end up into suicide. Isn't it a biological factor? Right. Other than, you know, physical ailments, mm. this is also biological. Again, here, you know, when I said genetic factors, yes, you must go through their family history. Do they have such kind of, you know, history of, you know, committing suicides? Sometimes, you know, parents, sometimes, you know, their grandparents, you know, someone or someone. Uh, recently, I have come across a particular family, a very, you know, noted family. The whole family committed, you know, suicides because, you know, knowing each other's. Right. So such things happen. And when it comes to psychological, psychological means, you know, factors could be many, right? Yeah. Situations could be many. But here, yeah. see, one thing, all those who are committing suicide are not mentally ill people. All the acts which are, you know, self-injurious are not leading to, again, suicide. This thing we must be very clear about, right? But here when I say, you know, psychological factors, yes, there are, you know, with mentally, you know, Ill, Ill people, like, you know, especially bipolar disease. Mm. Suddenly they are into a manic, you know, this thing, and suddenly, you know, they are into depression, you know, this. schizophrenia, mm. bulimia, anorexia, nervosa, right, and general anxiety disorder. So all this leads to depression. And again, you know, suicidal tendencies here, I would say, suicidal ideations. But other than this, due to various, you know, like age factors, each developmental period has certain, you know, like goals to be, you know, fulfilled. Certain, you know, important actions to be, you know, like fulfilled, right? 
and various changes also a person undergoes various changes if a person is not reaching out to fulfill the changes or the goals you know a person definitely will come under stress right here you know let me tell you we as human beings will always you know go across stresses which could be natural stresses which could be sometimes situation you know uh, raised stresses right but these can be called as risk factors so how you are going to handle these risk factors it, again you know it depends upon your you know vulnerability as well as you know resilience vulnerability is something you know where you are exposed to some kind of hurt all the time attack right i mean this person feels so bad about you know self you know easily they gets attacked they are hurt to such an extent that you know you they cannot recover from that if they fail in that right in mm -hmm. fact they cannot even take a risk for that matter but a person who is highly resilient resilient here right they will be able to recover through that kind of you know um, hurt or you know some risk you know anything you know mm -hmm. so a person who is you know highly vulnerable will always go through that kind of stress where they are exhausted due to fighting the stress right mm -hmm. and they you know actually reach out, i mean they uh, undergo depression to such an extent you know end of the day they will always you know think of first you know attempting suicide if they are not helped at the right time probably they will commit suicide also whether it's going to a complete suicide or you know not that again you know. so persons you know resilience you know matters a lot here right all these come under psychological factors only right social factors again cultural factors for example you know japan there any kind of you know loss personal disgrace uh, kind of you know self uh, you know attack right it could be only verbal also mm. verbal only and any kind of you know uh, not able to achieve you know at their work front for that matter they in fact the rest also all the japanese for that matter they think of committing suicide suicide is you know the thing it's much better there are many cultures such you know there are many such mm. cultures i think even here also we also think in terms of you know kind of no personal disgrace at any time mm. right lot of self respect but again there is a lot of difference mm. between you know like fighting for self respect and feeling so vulnerable about mm. certain acts right but again culture to culture it matters again gender many a times you know women attempt suicide but generally complete suicide occurs more among you know males right and again you know housewives commit you know more suicides and again you know 19 to 44 this is the age group where you know they attempt suicide more again you know old people again due to isolation and you know many kind of health problems you know this is the next you know kind of very mm. uh, delicate group sensitive group we must say right and another thing is situational factors there could be sudden situations like that loss of job not able to you know do well in their exams for that matter love relationships failure in love isn't it right and especially college students right they have their achievement you know this thing failure in achieving some the studies uh, affairs for that matter interpersonal relation we are not against that right intra as well as interpersonal mm -hmm. how you relate to your own self how you relate to your friends and then the rest of the you know same group but if they fail in that there are few you know who will not be able to again you know they are very very vulnerable at that stage and they attempt you know this thing so these are the many factors that we need to understand right in fact financial loss right job loss as i said even you know um, this kind of stress at the work front these days especially certain you know professions for example say you know uh, uh, um, police we have come across many you know like police people attempting in fact complete suicide also that is the stress level here you know at the work front management should always think in terms of you know providing them counseling or providing them with you know mental health professionals mm -hmm. you know immediately their um, boss should provide them with the short term you know help and then for the long term help reach out to you know mental health professionals as well whether be it you know psychologists psychiatrists social workers you know these people mm -hmm. should be available 
not only that medical personnel also undergo a lot of stress so at the work front also they face you know this kind of problem so at different age groups at uh, you know study level even at the relationships level and uh, adolescence here i wanted to discuss you know here parents problem with parents right so here actually that very developmental period itself is such a you know a rapid fire you know group right and uh, they you know expect a lot from their own selves because you know identity crisis they want to identify themselves with their same age group same you know gender group am i male am i female you know or because there are so many changes that would be coming you know <laughs> secondary sexual as well as you know primary sexual characteristics so they would be you know kind of a little bit uh, stressed out or under pressure you know while watching the various changes so that is a very very you know delicate period that's what i mean to say so they need help so provided you know that help at a different stages it's a different thing but if parents are not able to understand what that they are undergoing if the teachers are not you know helping out if the mental health professionals or psychologists counselors are not able to provide them because the management is not providing them with such kind of you know help it will definitely put them into a kind of you know mm. yeah stress right so uh, this is another age group it doesn't mean that young children are not attending they are also attending that's the most you know um, difficult you know this thing to really you know digest also even young children are also attempting suicide that means as i said you know it's so influential i mean these days i'm sorry to say the media is also providing that kind of you know picture you know committed suicide whichever you know age group that comes in the front page you know but actually you should be thinking more about the prevention aspects you know why what are what could be the causes which might have you know literally forced them to you know conduct something like that right commit something like that but uh, it, it sounds little I'm, i'm sorry to use this word but it do it does sound glamorous i'm very sorry to say this right so media should take a very very important responsible accountable step in this stage in this so that whenever they reach out to normal people as a bridge you know it should be very very clear about it what are the causes and how it could have been avoided take the help of you know professionals here talk to them then come up with a complete picture how it could have been you know prevented motivate them because let me tell you no one none actually who commits suicide wants to commit suicide till the last minute they want to help themselves they want to save themselves this one thing you know we must understand okay uh, can you tell us like some common patterns shown by the people who are you know who have suicidal thoughts uh yes very important question here uh actually here you know we we think that they never come up with any warning signs no the first and foremost thing is they do come up with some warn signs probably it could be something like you know indirect i think i may be i may not be available right i may not be available mm. from the next week onwards these are kind of you know indirect warn signs right but let me tell you there are direct warn signs in fact you know i myself has you know faced such kind of you know i i came across such kind of you know direct warn signs also but we helped right uh, i want to kill myself i want to die this is a direct you know this thing right and uh, some kind of you know psychological they, they are either you know too emotional right and uh, they become too religious they give away their whatever their uh, very close to their heart you know their possessions mm. to you know very near and dear people and they become highly spiritual you know at times and uh, highly you know emotional as i said and gestures and acts that are showing on their face as well as in you know, a body language and uh, talking you know such thing to their parents and you know near and dear ones about you know such aspects you know, those who have committed you know more about you know mm. such topics and there could be situational factors also like uh, th- there could be some sudden change in their life loss of a, you know near and dear one loss of spouse or loss of you know parent 
right and uh, loss of you know um, in academic you know this thing also yeah. loss of close friend and failure in you know love relationship and sometimes you know those who are very closely connected to you know uh, this nationalism that means you know i'm not saying you know fanatics about you know nation and all that but yes we did hear many such cases right they they're so attached to you know national you know this thing so they become you know uh, uh, at point of time you can say that you know it's a kind of absurdism right they, they sound mm. very absurd i mean yes you must help you know at national level at state level and this but not by you know killing yourself but they think that you know they are uh, uh, becoming you know a kind of uh, role model providing you know service to the society by killing their own self so these are the situational factors that we need to study including psychological factors including direct and indirect sense and signs here so the very first and foremost question would be let me tell you this sounds really different but do you have any plans to commit suicide this should be the first and foremost question have you attempted suicide do you have plans to commit a very very sensitive question here a very delicately it must be you know put at the front right but this is the question right so uh, these are the factors and these are the signs that we must always you know come across and uh, uh, here you know there are certain myths also that they never you know mention about their you know such thoughts uh even if they have such ideation wrong the fact is they always mention number 2 either there could be you know like uh, suicidal you know or not suicidal no any one can attempt suicide any one can commit suicide right but once you know such thoughts come they never change no it's a myth they want to change they can be changed once they are changed you, again you know they never get into kind of you know relapse again it's a myth the fact is they can be certain you know relapses like that that means at least you know change if the change has occurred that change must remain at least for 3 months then only you can say that a change has occurred right so there must be under you know first of all whoever is close to them they must help them whoever is the professional they must be under the you know supervision of the professional here sometimes you know even if they need hospitalization please put them into hospital there is nothing wrong in that because we have to provide them with the kind of you know support that yes you can trust people we are there right that is the first and foremost thing yes. okay um is it possible to stop a person from committing suicide yes what all i you know we discussed mm. so far it can be uh but the thing is you know first and foremost there are certain tips here i mm. wanted to say whoever is you know coming up with certain kind of signs signs could be anything even you know as i said gestures acts to mm. you know warn signs at different levels you know uh that we must understand if you come across any one of you if you come across such kind of you know cases it could be your best friend also who knows who knows right so uh, first of all ask them a very direct question here right and then you know provide them that kind of support listen to them listen mm-hmm. to them let them talk to you very openly ask them understand them right for that you know and persuade them to live you know to be alive right that is and don't be judgmental about whatever they talk just be unconditional just provide them with love and trust right because they need to develop that kind of trust almost you know they are trying to kill themselves means you know that's the last stage here that's the last stage so they means uh, what they mean is you know i i need love i need trust i want to just share certain things right that is very important and the minute you know the, you have persuaded them to you know stay alive and then you know provide them with the professional help right and uh, definitely there must be you know people who must be you know surrounding them number you know this thing is also very very important and uh, a little later you know an action plan should come up for their you know for their future and all that but at the same time here i wanted to tell you please you know help yourself keep yourself you know intact 
right because this is a very you know uh, stressful job this is not simple right mm. even you need to keep up yourself you know kind of very confident and because you have never you know helped for example say but you are you know at least trying to help the person you know for that short term while right until they are given you know some kind of professional help so you need to help yourself also right so that's the reason as i said you know it can be prevented you must believe in this once you believe in the prevention aspect or helping process and all that yes you can remain you know intact with yourself you can you must maintain your balance that's what i mean those who are trying to help you know that person yeah. like a psychological and counseling intervention like uh, it, like is it is necessary for them to get suicidal very thoughts much, much. but then like you know we have some people who are not uh, you know can't be you know psychologists can't reach them so for them like uh, like the common people like their friend like like some more elaborate on how they should go about to prevent them from committing suicide yeah uh, here actually uh, there are many for example farmers mm -hmm. right so social workers there and then even uh, the people around them uh, managing you know workers their government people if they come across even you know the panchayat and even there at various levels you know people are there you know around so they should be first of all given some picture about you know how what is that you know uh, sensitive group you know who could be attempting such kind of you know suicides and especially you know students and adolescents of any age you know adolescents even old adults at hospitals or if not hospitals you know at you know old age homes say for example mm. or you know those who are isolated and work I mean, living under isolation so these people first of all you know should be helped with you know time to time you know general communication mm. and all that and another thing is you know even community service centers you know you might be having an idea about this you know they can provide with short term helps okay and you know uh, for example in the campus you know we have sahayam that that's again you know mental health professional you know stay and then you know span roshni vishwas you know there are many such centers you know but they would be reaching them out to little later but during this time uh, uh, these people at different levels you know they, they they should be provided with some kind of you know training sessions right mm -hmm. first of all you know those who are under this kind of you know bouts i would say right so uh, how they can be helped number one by being you know very open talk and then unconditional you know understanding and by not being judgmental first of all understanding these you know signs is the most important how to first of all you know reach out to such people followed by you know uh, being a good listener by being non judgmental and all these things and then understanding what could be the psychological factors as well as cultural factors this also is very much important and then you know the timely help so mm. these kind of training sessions for at different you know community service center they should be provided and provide them with some information if you are undergoing such kind of bouts please do reach out to these people at first stage these people will understand and then if needed they would be reaching you to the next you know best help that means mm. first of all a person who is undergoing you know this kind of you know depressed you know thoughts or ideations should be able to reach out to such people that means a lot of you know uh, information knowledge you know oriented programs first of all must be provided at village levels district levels state level you know there's so much to do because still you know it's going on every day we come across you know there are many people who are you know i think because of the media and social channels these days you know we come across many such you know why this is one question we need to ask why such things are still taking place right even you know people who are at different different pg levels phd levels right and best of the best universe uh, universities even they are committing suicide complete suicide you know the management mm. the teachers at the different levels you know they must be you know helping them and uh, somewhere you know uh, we are you know uh, biggest it's our failure i i would say that you know it's our failure at different levels again mm. so somewhere you know we are not able to reach out to such people 
that you know we must you know provide ourselves with the knowledge and information and any time as i said prevention is better than cure help those who need treatment help them reach out to them but at the same time any time you know thinking in terms of positivity and well being will always you know aim for prevention right so this is another aspect we must all be you know mm. aiming for uh now for example like uh, you know we, somebody is committing suicide and then we as common people happen to see them so at that particular moment how can we you know approach them to stop them because at at the moment they may be in a different state of mind so like uh, some ways of how we can help them at that very moment first of all you know if they they have come up till there are they you know burning themselves are they mm. hurting themselves if they uh, some kind of you know fine uh, uh, you know uh, these guns and all mm. that you know kattulu and all that you know knives if these things are available around you know they are going to use them only and if they are you know available with too many medic medications mm. and especially old medications you know anything can be used and uh, chemical you know kind of usages here and uh, even jumping right and a very intense you know sensation pain damage you know with a bit physical or you know chemical so here if they come up till say for example burning or jumping or something like that uh, i know you know a case even the moment before you know jumping was taking place uh, i i got to know that you know uh, that person was you know sending calls messages right mm. so they couldn't you know just see the messages that's a different story altogether mm. but that means till the last minute somehow or the other they are making you know Something. their own you know mm. attempts to save their life this so how how come you know first of all these people have missed out on that this is my only mm. question will telvada inko kor telvada are they not able to see such kind of warning signs if they have seen one signs you know why such persons are not being helped at the right time instead of you know once they have attempted something like that's a different story ha huh, once they have attempted there are many ways to really you know help them but jump me to jump jump me to jump right so one signs be aware of the one signs if you are their best friend if you are you know his or her uh best you know uh, the most uh, you know uh, wanted or you know close you know family friend first of all provide them with that kind of you know environment where you know they feel quite secure i never said that you know no one is going to face risk i never said that you know they are not going to face any problems right they do undergo in you know, a problem all of us but how we are going to really you know handle our problems is our life right so somewhere you know if the person is undergoing that kind of vulnerable and delicate period please do help first you help then get them to professionals it's not a kind of stigma please mm -hmm. overcome that stigma again. it's high time <laughs> <laughs> uh now ma'am to conclude like um like we have some like see cheering up the person who like you know have the suicidal thoughts wouldn't that be um, um you know can that be a way for them to you know to change their their mind or would it be a too you know early for them to no. uh, the in in fact i said you know if they are coming up till you know suicidal ideation before itself you know they must be giving such kind of uh, mm. uh, the very you know uh, as i said suddenly they become uh, very emotional or sometimes you know it it could be accidental also sometimes accidental suicides are also this but generally i mean more number you know would be uh, with a kind of you know uh, uh, step by step i would say right so here uh, we must understand about these things and they must be provided with help at different stages right and uh, first as i said you know the tips i would like to just you know uh, say the tips here uh, take the person seriously right get the help whether be it you know therapist or in. then you know express concern ask direct questions then uh, that means do you have any plan for suicide this is a direct question i asked right this you shouldn't feel you know bad or sad about it and don't ever think that you know by asking such questions you are inducing 
you know mm. such kind of thought uh, to adolescent hey, don't say don't say that thing to an adolescent in fact you are inducing no if they have already you know such kind of thoughts in fact you are actually you know mm. showing that concern oh my god you know i'm just you know going through such thoughts and someone is coming to me and you know they're asking me yeah. one direct question they understand me just see how yeah. you know better they feel you know and you know uh, don't leave the person until they are under the help of you know uh, a professional help and the most important here uh, since you know take care of yourself i mean i i, I just uh, uh, really you know, appreciate you know youngsters you know like you people must be must become aware of all these you know and then you know provide them with help right and you should believe more in the prevention but at the same time it is contagious and hence you know i would say take care of yourself as ma'am has pointed out human life is very precious so we should all help the person and also ourselves to prevent anything like that from happening ma'am we wholeheartedly thank you from the mass communication and Most journalism welcome. department smy university for taking out your precious time and providing us with such valuable information thank you ma'am most welcome